Welcome back to our in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I hope you guys are having a good weekend. So I sounded pretty confident leaving off in the last episode that we were going to get to Riker today, but honestly, I doubt that. I feel like that might be a pretty bold claim, because we have quite a bit of stuff left to do, and he's going to be the very last thing that we tackle in this level. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to experiment a little bit with some damage types and some status effects in this place. Particularly with the godskin Noble. That dude is pretty tough, and he's quite resilient to almost every single form of elemental damage. But he is very, very weak to status effects. So let me kill this uh, monk here. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, he's no problem here. So what I'm going to do with this guy, actually, is... I have the Iziki... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Exix Decay, which is the strongest dragon Scarlet Rot Breath you can have in the game. I'm going to use that on him. And, ew, what's on my face? Are you kidding me? Just took a shower. And then you can see I also have the Fletched Bleed arrows down there. So the Bloodbone arrows. What my plan is against the Godskin Noble, is once we get there anyway, is I'm going to put him to sleep with Sleep Pots. Right, we're going to go full-blown status. Um, put him to sleep with Sleep Pots. Ah, I wanted to try to get a backstab on you. You're not getting through this shield. Are you kidding me? Good luck. So we're going to use Sleep Pots on that guy. Full-blown status. And then once he goes to sleep, instead of using like a critical attack with our weapon, what we're going to do is we're going to Scarlet Rot him from, with a Dragon Breath from far away, from a safe distance. And then right as he wakes up, we're just going to use Barrage on this. And we're just going to pelt him with the Bleed Arrows. And we're going to try to proc, proc Bleed over and over as much as we can. Um, and we're going to rinse and repeat that. I feel like once he transforms and gets all bloated, we're just going to put him to sleep again. I'm going to keep the Sleep Arrows on just in case he doesn't sit still. Because a Sleep Pot is much more potent than Sleep Arrows. But problem is it creates a cloud and they have to be stationary and he's not a stationary enemy so keeping those arrows on just in case he doesn't want to sit still this is not a smart weapon to use against this boss so we'll switch over to this guy and if you'll notice our drip has changed yet again we're doing full scale armor and it's got such good defense this defense on this armor set is killer and i think it looks really good with this hood so Dare I say, the hood almost looks like it goes with the armor set. So now we're going to go down. And we're going to go deal with the magma worm. And we're also going to go do this dungeon down here. So I'm going to get my children ready. Actually, no. We're not going to use our children just yet. I'm going to use this. And this. Why not? get all the damage let's get all the fucking damage let's just do it man damn it all right let's get as much damage as we can while this guy spawns come on where are you at there we go oh shit i'm already hitting the wrong button i'm such an idiot all right there we go Oh yeah, he's got some health on him, boy. Alright, yeah, that's it. Let's stay in that cloud and see if we can put him to sleep. There we go. Oh, he doesn't stay asleep. It doesn't matter. Alright. Children, try to get him distracted. Alright. See if we can... Put him to bed again. Or at least stagger him a little bit, right? Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Alright, so that helps. Now he's in phase two. Alright. 
So let's see if Barrage will work on this guy, huh? See if we can bleed him, huh? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh boy. Let me go over here. Shit. I need my shield. Ugh! Ooh! <laughs> that did quite a bit of damage through the shield. Give me my bubble. Shit. Waste of a bubble. Shit. All right. Let's regroup. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. What are you doing, man? Shit. Okay, got ourselves another dragon heart. Man, he was tanky. Let's go grab this item over here. So you, you really can't bleed that guy. Like, I... Well, okay, I won't say you can't, but damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Because we... Yeah, it's just gonna... Lame. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Get up. Alright, so let's check over here. Let's see if there's anything up near this cage. Nope, I don't see anything. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to go across the pool over into this section over here. We're just going to get kind of cooked. Don't mind it. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Hmm. Thought I heard an earthquake. Ah, damn it. Usually you try to jump across to get like that head start, you know, to fling you across the lava. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Alright. And now what we're looking for is the... Where'd that slug go? There he is. How did I miss? That was so weird. So now what we're looking for is we want to find the... Oh god, these guys again. Blech. We want to find that cave. We're going to find the entrance to that cave that's going to get us to uh, the Duel of Dr. Virgins. For some reason I could have swore it was over here where the magma worm was. But I suppose not. Let's take a peek. Try to get a vantage point, no? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... Shit. There should be a guy right here. Oh, that damage. Oh, yeah. Big fan of that. Okay. Let's run across here. It's not there. We came through there. I'm just going to do like a quick 360 around here. I'm just going to look through, see if we can find it. If we can peep the entrance. It's not over there. We've already been over there. It's up there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's totally 100% up there. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Good, 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 good. So let's go back. I feel bad that I wasted my arrows, but we should still have plenty. Wasted my arrows testing, man. 
Is it truly a waste if you're testing and experimenting? I think not. Okay. Now the question is... How do we get over there? I, yes, I feel like 100% it's right there, but how we get there is going to be the question. All right, so let me see something real quick. Uh, I was thinking it would loop around and maybe there would be an item that I missed. Guess not, not this time. Clever idea, though. All right, so like I had mentioned before, let's try to... I'm going to make a couple more of these. Just so I have on as many of them as I can possibly have on hand. And I'm going to make more of these. Because you never know. It could end up being really, really good. We're probably not going to need our children for this fight. So they could probably sit out. I'll put Vike Spear on because it does the most damage for me. Alright. So the plan is put his ass to sleep with a sleep thought and then Scarlet Rot him. And then start shooting the shit out of him with those bleed arrows. Or maybe we sleep pot him again. Who knows? It's going to work out, hopefully, the way I want it to. <laughs> okay, um... He does mostly fire attacks, so we use that. We use this. We should be. We should be good. All right. Let's get his ass. Ow! No, oh, sweet. That was easy. It worked. So let's get him from far away. Switch. Oh, that sucked. Fuck, fuck. Oh, those take FP. Forgot about that. Oh, no, get out of here. Go to bed. All right, so let's get a safe distance away again. Oh, I'm out. Okay, that worked. Oh shit, oh shit. Hey. 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 Give up. Oh, fuck. Alright. I need to switch to my shield. Oh, no. Ah! That's the worst. He's still Scarlet Rotted? No way. That strategy ripped through him, man. So we got that big balloon ability that he has, the, the Noble Presence. Um, oh man, I didn't expect that to be as effective as it was. Like, that Scarlet Rot, uh, you witnessed it. If you're having trouble with that boss, that's what you need to do. Scarlet Rot, Blood Arrows, and wow. The Sleep almost made it easy mode. That was, wow. So, ooh, the Serpent's Amnion. We need to look at this. So, Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. You see that? It's almost like the larval tear in a way. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. I wonder why it's here. I wonder what it's doing here. It's got something to do with Riker. We know that. But uh, 
What, was he going to eat it? I mean, is it a source of power? Is it something that the Godskin nobles worship? What is the deal with airline food? I don't even watch Seinfeld. I don't know why I said that. Um, endurance. Go Endurance, and then next time we'll go Mind. We'll get them both to 25, and we'll be good. We'll be good. Um... I didn't even look at that. Wow, look at that. It's like a big uh like a big snake skin, it looks like. Big shed skin. Wow. That's cool, man. The other thing we need to look at is this stitcher that we got, the heavy thrusting sword. This thing is D in strength, D in dexterity, but you can change the weapon arts and you can make it scale with whatever. It's good. It's real good. I like this thing a lot. We're probably going to upgrade it and use it because not only does it look freaking amazing, but it's going to be a really good source of thrust damage. It comes with impaling thrust. It has multiple hits when you charge the strong attack. It doesn't get much better than that. What was I even using? Vike Spear? Yeah, okay. Go back to Vike Spear. So... We go through here. We cannot activate this yet. This is going to come from... Or is it? Yep, it's going to come from below, I think? Or maybe above. I can't remember, but... I do know that... Uh, this fall gate that we saw that was through here was actually just another way to get into the Godskin Apostle's room, which is an interesting little detail. Let's look back here and make sure we didn't miss anything, right? No, I think we're good. So now it's time to take the elevator up. Man, that guy gave us no trouble. That's hilarious. I, I don't believe how effective that was i mean the sleep put him down and then the scarlet rot not only was it dealing like damage to him like heavy damage but it stayed procced pretty much the entire fight like it finished him off nice we got a payday we're just gonna follow this around it should spit us out on the other side, near the front. We should be near the entrance now. Nice. Yep, look at that. We're going to follow that up. There's going to be an Iron Virgin up there in the lava, because of course they would. All right. Big yikes. Um, looks like that's what we have in store for us at this point. So let's make our way up. We're going to go into the top level of the Volcano Manor now, where things start to get kind of hairy. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like the peak difficulty of the level, but we're getting there. It's We're starting to get there. It's definitely not like pretty. It's, it's not easy. It's certainly going to spike in difficulty compared to what we've seen so far in the level. That much you can be sure of. I want to see if the Frenzied Flame is technically a different kind of fire. It is not. It, the fire is fire in this game, apparently. And the slugs are immune to it. So how about this? Yeah, y'all don't like that shit. Anything cold. Ice. Holy shit. That slug hit me for a lot of damage just now. And get all that smoldering butterfly i wonder why it was purple or was it the strip of white flesh i'm pretty sure it was the butterfly all right let's run through here i'm somewhat certain that there's no point i'm pretty sure that there's literally no point in jumping down right here i don't think there is i'm gonna do it anyway because we have to know yep see yep yep see That's okay. 
It's not a big deal. It'll only take us a second to get back up there. That's going to be... That's going to be a shortcut that'll get us to Rikerd, I believe. That big elevator that we just dropped down in front of again. So, because they don't take any damage from this shit, I should probably get rid of it. We'll put this on. And I can still be medium load. Good. All right. And this thing surprisingly does more damage than the Halo Scythe. It doesn't have that really badass ranged attack, but it hits harder. All right. We learn that when these things spit at you, it does a lot. Give me all the smoldering butterflies. I want them. And if I remember correctly, you will die if you drop off right here. Like, this lava cannot be stood on, in my recollection. So don't do it. I'm pretty sure that's considered, like, out of bounds and will kill you immediately. Why? Thank you. I'm not even playing multiplayer. Why even give it to me? It's a lot of lava. This place really reminds me of the Elder's Recess in Monster Hunter World. I love it. I don't love this part. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make some lightning shit. Throw at this guy. We don't need these anymore. Oh, I hate this part. I usually just run away, go for the window. Big yuck. He's gonna come rolling around that corner. You'll see. It's just so inappropriate. <laughs> Why put an Iron Virgin in this part of the game? Like, why here with the lava? What gives? Who hurt you? This, my friends. This nasty little part. You would not think you could drop down right here, but you can. And guess what it does? <laughs> it leads you right back. Right back here. In that spot that you didn't need to drop down to. <laughs> Isn't that just so amusing? My answer is no. I think it's pretty stupid. But... Again. Data research and experimentation I'm passionate about that stuff so I'm gonna take every path even if I know it goes nowhere all right let's do this I'm gonna wait for this guy to come rolling around there he is at least he's one of the easy ones eh. whatever Probably should turn this on so you guys can see. And here we are. Next part of the level, Serpent Men and everything. All right, let's do this. Oh no, that's gonna go through. Yeah! No, 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 no. Oh, that did great! Oh no. Roll, roll, roll! Oh shit. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Fuck you, man. Oh crap, that didn't work. Shit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Taste my lightning, fucker. <laughs> I think that's what he says in that damn movie. 
There we go. Shoo, that guy was an ordeal. All right, and now we have this part. Um, to get to these part, oh my god, I thought the Iron King was about to spew out of the lava for a second. That would have been, that would have been an interesting throwback. Um, what I prefer to do for these parts is I prefer to access those areas by using the snake heads right there, or whatever these things. Basilisk, I don't know what these things are. They seem to have wings. Dragons, gargoyles, whatever. I gargoyles with snake tongues. Okay, I'm done. But we have a scarab here. This guy's important. He's going to give us a good upgrade stone, I believe. And then we could just blast him with our arrow and be done with it. But risky, risky, risky. It's too risky. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we get over there to be able to drop down to those parts. And we're going to deal with cursed lizards and everything beneath there in these... Uh, not in that one per se, but... In these ones down here, there's going to be a cursed lizard room. It's going to suck, but we're going to deal with it. That's where the difficulty really kind of starts to amp up. I don't... I don't think it's wise for me, unless this is a ladder. Okay, good, good, good. Fuck yeah. I was going to say, I don't think it would be wise for me to descend unless there was a ladder. Lo and behold... Are those explosive? Can I aim? Is probably a better question. No, they're not. Okay. I keep thinking those are explosive barrels because they have the red marking on them. It looks like blood, almost. Oh, God. Yeah. These guys are pretty weak to fire. But holy tends to work better. So let me do this. Wait! I'm not wasting my good arrows. Fuck that. Fuck that noise. Here we go. Yeah. You see? Look at their health bump. It takes three arrows to kill these now. It only took like one and a half before. You. <sighs> what is pathfinding, you say? Okay, there's more. There's more, and we gotta be careful. Didn't go so bad. This we want. Yeah, tier six missionary cookbook. Let's see <clears throat> what we got. Yeah, the holy proof dried liver. So we can now create the item that's going to give us holy damage negation, which is. Uh, Quite important. I would say that that's not uh, that's not something to shake a stick at. I don't know who came up with that term. I just know it's literally been around since I was like I don't even know, man. It's been around since I was like still genetic makeup, trying to become DNA, and like my grandpa. I don't fucking know. Or does shake a stick at, or does that mean in regards to the quantity of something? I don't have any idea. Let's kill this guy. Can he be put to sleep? We already tried that. Yeah, boy. <laughs> he broke your guard. Oh, shit. That hurt. So that sword is pretty rare drop. I hope we get one, but it does that. It creates a pool of fire on the ground. Pretty awesome. 
I've run into it in PvP a couple times, and it's... Ooh, hello. It's pretty unpleasant in PvP, I'll tell you that. Nice. This guy. We've already picked up one of these. Two of them, actually. Yeah, Red Scarab. Slightly increases the recovery effects of the Flask of the Crimson Tears, but they're so heavy, man. This thing weighs 5.1 units. It's hard to justify. And here we go. We're going to have to run back around again. But it's okay. I'm fine with it, if you guys are. It's a good idea that I reallocated my flasks again to give myself an extra one. We were running 10 and 3 for the longest time, but now we're running 9 and 4, and I think that's better. It's just better results. Been going real heavy on the weapon arts. All right. So this part, more serpent men, and they're quite troublesome here. You can hear our twinkling little friend. There he is. We'll deal with him in a minute. Shield up, because we have no-no boys. That's what I'm choosing to call them. Oh shit! No 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 no! Don't give a high shit! Yo! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Die! Die! That could have gone way worse than it actually did. Just want to point that out. Here we go. I think this is the elevator that we were... Is it going to go down? Yes! All right. Fuck yeah. Okay, that spot right there. <laughs> we need to try to get to that spot. Here we are. <laughs> All right, I think it's going to be on this side. Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? Get the fuck out of here. Stone sword key. I hear him. I hear the twinkle. He's right on the other side of that wall. All right. Now we're going to be kind of crazy. Jump out this window. Alright, he's literally on the other side of us. No. I'm not going to hit him with a shield. That would be absurd. Come here, you motherfucker. Huh! Bam. Smithing stone tier 5. Hell yeah. So let's jump across real quick. We're going here now. Shield. That was dumb of me to do. Keep your shield up for these parts. All right. Now this is going to take us back up to where we were, like that walkway that's going to take us to the rest of the Serpent Men. We don't want that, actually. We actually want to do that last. We're going to go in here and we're going to deal with these curse Lizards. That's what we're going to do. Serpent Men are out in the lava. Um, kind of difficult to lock onto them. For some reason, you just straight up can't. I don't know why. So let's do this, shall we? Have a boulder. If I can hit him, come on, man. I didn't play baseball, but... Give me something. Give me something! Fuck off. This is awful. <laughs> I really hate that you can't hit this guy so easily. Alright, that sucked. I wasted an entire, like... <laughs> An entire bar of mana. There we go. Come here, you. And you wouldn't be able to heal, even though you can't. I just like that weapon art. I think it's great. This guy in the head. That's it. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, boy. 
You think I'm gonna get got? I am the master of the bait and switch. Come on. Fine. And I will come to you. All right. Picking these guys apart, man. I feel pretty good about it. Okay. So these next parts. We're not going to be able to be so barbaric for these next couple parts. We're really going to have to be careful about this. So there's lava. And there's curse lizards. There they are. We can see them. So let's do this, maybe? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Is he going to come over here and give me a hard time? Yes, he is. Maybe I can... Oh, shit. Nope, they're coming. I was going to say maybe I could Scarlet Rot them. Yeah, bitch. Is it working? It's not. Maybe you can't status them. Alright. Let's try this. This kind of fans out. Maybe it'll hit them. No? Okay. How about this? Nope. Ah! <laughs> it kind of worked. Their death blight goes through the wall, so I kind of have to be careful. Fuck off. Yeah, there we go. We got one more. See, these things are so tanky. Like, they suck. Truly. And what is what are you guarding? Hell yeah, that's worth it. Hmm. Alright. That part wasn't so bad. We played it smart. We came out on top. And then there shouldn't be anything over there, I don't think. I don't know. We're gonna see once we get up there, because we'll get a better point of view. There's no point in running through the lava, so let's not. So now we're going to go up that little ladder. I think we're doing okay. This scale armor has a bunch of defense. It's keeping us alive. Surprisingly, we're not too heavy for it. And I mean, that's a surprise to me. There is a serpent guy that's going to come up those steps. I think he's one of the whip guys. Eee! Forgot about that. Thanks for the, the herba. Make sure there's nothing over these edges. I don't know why there would be. We just went through there. Maybe we should do this, huh? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, these guys have, like, no health. Yeah, you blow up, sir. Maybe we can one-shot him? Yeah! See? You see? <laughs> when you have scaling on your bow, it makes all the difference. Oh yeah, that that mighty shot is doing work. It takes like no FP. None. Okay. Cleaning house, baby. I think there's a serpent man. Yep, there he is. Okay. Um Seven hundred and twenty-eight damage. Are you kidding me? Gotta be careful with this guy, though. He got the fire whip. Are you done? He also has the swollen throat for like the fire breath. So mind your serpents. The Commoner's Headband. I wonder why that's purple. I wonder why it's important for us to pick that up. Let's take a look at it. A headband that holds cloth in place. Standard wear for Commoners of the Lands Between. Only, there are no Commoners remaining with their wits about them. Hmm. 
I wonder why it gives us that right there. Interesting to think about. I think I might hear another scarab. I'm probably just insane. It's whatever. All right, so this is the spot we wanted to look at. Um, we we went in through there, so maybe it's this one over here, the other side of this one, that we want to try to really get a good look at. So let's do that. And let's not die. Let's not walk in any traps. Should be okay. And negative. Doesn't look like there's anything, so we should be okay. So let's just go straight through. Now going into this part, there's like this little mini church in here. I don't... Hold on, what's over here? Let's not be complacent. We can't just assume. <laughs> there's going to be like a mini chapel with one of these uh, snake guys that I think like fires magic. And... It's a big pile of doo-doo. I'm just telling you right now, it's super annoying. But I have a really cool way of dealing with it, and I think it'll help you guys. Okay, up oh, there it is. Yep, big boy. We are gonna... Man, I wish... I need... Ugh. Here we go. I need an AoE attack. Maybe we can use the Ezekiel right here. No, it costs way too much. It'll take forever. This should do just fine. If we can get close enough. We should be able to. There shouldn't be... Yeah, I think we're okay. I hear a guy up there. I hear the pitter-patter. Alright, here we go. This should get rid of these guys in one hit. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so here's what we want to do for this part. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you guys know what time it is, don't you? <laughs> it is boom boom time. <laughs> Get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> nah, bro. He <laughs> ain't casting nothing on me. Nice try, though. Oh, shit. Eat this. Oh, what did I say in Bloodborne? Perish. <laughs> this thing's a blast to use. <laughs> it takes forever to reload, but you don't need... You can just no-scope with it, especially if they're right in front of you, and you just watch the madness ensue. It's absurd. <laughs> what a wonderful weapon. And then for some reason in, in the doorway, like, they don't... Oh, man, that was right in the mouth. For some reason in the doorway, they don't want to use their shield. Okay, so this guy does, because he heard me say that, but... Whatever. This shit is hilarious. And he can't fit. It's really funny. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. I love the jar cannon. What a blast. Literally. Pun intended. Oops. I'm trying to hit this guy from, like, a safe distance. There we go. Alright, that's how you deal with that part. Spray and pray. Man Serpent dashes. So the Man Serpent is, uh, he's actually quite durable. And where he excels, for sure, as a spirit summon, is his range. He's got really, really good range. We picked up an interesting staff that is unique to this area of the game. Skills with intelligence and faith. Interesting. Boosts lava sorceries. So if you want to do a lava build, there you go. That's what you want to use. Alright. Got ourselves a nice teleporter out here. 
Um, we're going to mark it. Because that's what we do, right? No. Diamond was teleport. Yep. Make sure there's no spot where we can jump over to get an item, maybe. Seems to be a common theme in this level, so. Okay, I'm not going to take that teleporter just yet. We're actually going to go back a little bit. We're going to go through here. There's a door we can unlock right here. These pillars are interesting. They're like kind of swirled, like snake shaped. Or what it reminds me of is it reminds me of those long swirled kind of cylindrical suckers that you would get at like an amusement park. You know, the rainbow colored ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. The shape should give it away. All right, and then we came in through there. So this part, thank goodness we've been picking up all these stone sword keys because this part is a bitch and three quarters. Like, I truly hate this part, but we're going to do it. Oh, thank goodness we have a good ranged weapon. Not going to give us any trouble. So we can get these guys. And yes, I 100,000% recommend you do this exactly the way I'm doing it. Because these guys in particular will shoot magic at you. And they're kind of hard to see. Like, you really have to use your camera and do your best on this part. Because... Hold on a second. We could drop down right there. That'd be fine. But this part we're going to have to revisit twice. Um, it's not it's not going to be doable in just one go. And if you fall, you're fucked. Be very aware of that. Uh, and those those shitbirds that chase you and do the rah, 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 rah thing, those those guys are kind of piled up at the bottom too. There's a big pile of doo doo. But we're going to be real careful. We're going to spam our... You probably hear me, right? Lock on, don't lie. We're going to spam our lock on button. We're going to take care of these guys so they don't shoot the shit out of us with magic. Oh, great. There he goes. All right. We could use a jar cannon for this part. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. I mean, it's got the range, and it'll probably, it'll probably do the damage we need to do to get rid of them. All right. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can... Damn, that's annoying. Oh, I see. Yep, that's why. Alright, whatever. Um, Go back to this. Probably need to drop down just one more. Be very careful dropping down on these cages. And I recommend you try to jump to this part via an angle. We'll have to get to that guy later, and then that guy will have to come back down and drop down again to get to that doorway. But I recommend you jump to this on like a bias, like this. You just have more control that way, it's easier to not fall. Okay, do our thing, lock on, don't lie. Cool. Most of these you don't need to jump. Most of these you can just kind of do like... Push the analog all the way forward, just just move at full speed, but take advantage of your camera, you know, like look at the gap and then decide what you want to do. But we shouldn't need to. That part, we should be able to just drop from here and not die, but let's see. There we go. We're just going to take care of these guys like this, because it's how we know how to. Um, we know they're weak to holy, so we're going to switch to something that we know will probably kill them in one hit. Because once they, well, almost one hit, once they start moving, you see that? Okay, a headshot will do it. Alright. I guess we can... Kind of wait for these guys to stop losing their shit, maybe? And I don't know. 
can also do this. Die. There's an Albanarch directly beneath us, and we should have one more freakout guy right there, right? Okay. See if we can get this guy. It's not gonna work. Whatever. Ah. We really, this seems silly, I know, but we, we really want to get rid of this guy before we go down there because he's, he's bad news, I'm telling you. He's gonna cause trouble for us. There we go. And then you can jump to that log right there, that or that log, god, that beam sticking out of the wall, and then you can kind of like make your way down the cages. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to jump to this cage over here against the wall and just get ready to take these albinarics down because they should be the only ones left. So let's... Do this. You don't really have to make it to the wall. Like it seems impossible, right? Like I just, the only reason I even know about this is because it worked in my other playthrough. But it just makes it easier to to do like a, a soft drop down to this cage, so you don't take damage. All right. So that went about as smooth as we could hope. And then we still have a couple of these guys left, so we're going to take care of them real quick. We can just cheese this guy with arrows. Real easy. And then I don't know if there's more, but lock on don't lie. Spam that shit, man. I think we're okay. So the seedbed curse. This is the important item down here. This is the reason we came down here at all. Well, not just that. We want to get all the items, but the Seedbed Curse is something that we're going to collect for the Dung Eater. It's for his quest line, and we're going to get all of them. They're not easy to get. But listen to his description. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the Dung Eater. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The Dung Eater cultivates the Seedbed Curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd Tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. So, the more we learn about the Dung Eater, especially if you pay attention to what he says, like in his dialogues, we start to learn that he's literally the, like, the reason he's called the Dung Eater is because he's literally the biggest piece of shit in this entire game. He's truly awful. Does terrible, terrible things to people. And this in particular, it says Omen Horns. We see that... And the first thing you think of is probably like Margit, right? Or Moog, because the omen horns come from, from them. They're considered omens. They have these specific horns growing on them. And I think that's really cool because it tells us that whatever it is the Dung Eater is, is fighting for, whatever, whatever force causes him to justify doing these terrible things to people, clearly has some kind of influence from like you know, Margot slash Morgot or Moog. And then Royal Knight's Resolve. I'll tell you what, boy, that is a dumb good weapon skill. You can get absurd damage with that if you stack it right. There's Rikard. We get a look at him. Not really sure who that is, but they have one of these interesting masks of like these Mount Gelmir nobles. That's the Erd Tree. It looks like the Erd Tree that's it's burning in this picture. So, foreshadowing. Alright. Time to make our way back up. This is going to surprise you where it spits us out. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> what do you know? We're back. Where the fuck is Patches? There he is. Found you. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Hmm. Oh, and of course, 
We can do business, if you like. At his Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. So Patches really kind of changes his tune here. I think it's very interesting the way they do this in this game. Market Shackle. We don't need that. We ain't no bitch. Um, don't need any of this, pal. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention... Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something. But she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Hmm. Interesting of you to say that. Cheers for that. So yeah, Batches has a thing for Tanith. Let's see if Tanith has anything to say to us now that we've beat the Godskin Noble and started progressing through the level. Now you are a recusant, I am pleased. Okay, she has no idea. Okay, good. So let's... Hold on. Okay, can't get in there. We will, though. Another one of those doors will lead up to there. Let's just briefly see what these have people have to say. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Oh, Fi, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. I've been crawling through this place for the last several hours. It's possible. Let me just tell you that. Sometimes, like breathing or... Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're just sleepy. There's not snake men out there patrolling this place. No, of course not. You're still alive. Well. All right. How about you? Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No. It's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Well, realizing your scum is the first step, pal. Perhaps I am a fool after no. What an easy mark. Hmm. All right. Now then, where is the last grace we found? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to head not back that way. It'll take us back to the bottom. We may as well just rest at this grace, and then we'll teleport back. Mm. I guess it'd be this one, right? This is where the Godskin Noble was. Yep. All right. So now we're going to go back to that spot. And we're going to drop down in that little spot that I pointed out that requires us to be very, very careful. I could have swore we unlocked some kind of shortcut for that. We did. I'm dumb, man. can't believe it. I about went full-blown dumbass right there. <laughs> so this is exactly where we need to go. This is where the little hole in the wall is and everything. So. Shoo! Yes, right here. Indeed. Wait. Is this it? It's not. Never mind. Don't. Just don't. You don't need to. What the? Where is he? Is he up there? I think he is. <laughs> I 
Okay. So we actually need to go through here. This is the part that doesn't really have a shortcut, the part that's kind of strange to me. It would make sense for it to. Shit. Ah! It's <laughs> trying to be sneaky right there. Yeah. Of course, that fire. Nope. I am considerably faster than you. Okay, those guys should be alright. This worked real well when we did it. How did I just miss right there? Yeah! Nice. Every time I get a shiny from them, I keep thinking it's going to be something good, but alas. Okay, so up, up there is where we needed to go. I'm being silly. And these guys come back, but it's okay. We don't need to fuck with these guys. We can just run. They're not going to follow us. I mean, they will, but they leash. So, And if they don't, it's going to suck for them, right? Like this. Was it worth it? Okay. Here we go. This is where we needed to be. Getting to that item is quite tricky. We're going to have to get up there and then get to that next part. It's just, it's all, it's this whole thing. But this is what we need to do for this part. We got to drop down right here and we got to be really damn careful doing it because. Woo! <laughs> all right. It's a little split right here. Or no, there's not. God, why did I say that? I'm losing it. Hello. I want to deal with you first. What in the... What in the hell was that? There we go. We'll deal with this guy now. Let's see if this works well against these guys. It does. Alright. It does real good. <laughs> Mist resolved. He keeps getting my hopes up with these shinies, man, telling me, I'm like, you just might get one of these super rare drop manserver weapons. And then it takes away from me. That's an interesting picture. Oh, huh. it's a painting of a painting near things that are on fire. How very Andy, what's his name? The guy that passed away like maybe 10 years ago. So check this out. Would you look at that? Loops around. The dagger talisman. That looks an awful lot like Barre, doesn't it? Where is it? Indeed. That's White Mask himself. A talisman depicting a dagger and a surgeon enhances critical hits. The white-garbed field surgeons come to the aid of a friend and foe alike by dealing a final deadly thrust to spare them from the prolonged agony of a mortal wound. A sense of mercy is a catalyst for bloodlust. Interesting. So that's what they do. They uh, put you out of your misery. They uh, quote-unquote help you <laughs> by stabbing you to death. Pretty dope. Shit. Get a nice descend attack on that guy. And here we got another goodie. A rune arc. Good shit. And then from here you can just drop down like normal, but I gotta be totally honest with you, I really don't have a desire to deal with all those guys again. So we're just gonna do this. To end this episode, let's go here, shall we? And let's deal with this invasion. All right, I think we can get there from here. Should be able to, maybe. Uh, that's a heck of a drop, maybe not. So if we need to get down there, which we do, 
We gotta go... Here, I guess. It looked like we were missing an item down there, too. Ugh! <sighs> that would have been bad. Do you guys remember when me and Seth ran through the Crown of the Sunken King DLC in Dark Souls 2? And he and I were trying to take that trying to take that big bridge up there to get to the section with the Drake Blood Knights where you start doing that drop down to get down to uh, what's her name? Al Alana or whatever. Um, we were just doing our thing and running by and Seth, poor bastard, he completely forgot to place the dragon stone, which is what causes that bridge to raise. And he and I had already done that part, like, a few times, right? Like, we did it on my file. Here it is. What do you know? We did it on my game. Where's that item? I know we saw the item from the top. Uh, we, we had just did that part on my own file, and he, uh... I guess he forgot to do it on his own <laughs> and he just went running straight off the edge because he it took us like I don't know how many times we made that run on my character right like we did it several times on my file because she's like almost impossible to beat on the first try in new game plus at least because we were playing on new game plus and I don't know I just it was really damn funny he he was so used to just taking the elevator and running across the bridge, he didn't stop to realize that when we were doing it on his game, it was his turn, he didn't place the dragon stone, which causes that big stone bridge to come up, and he just ran straight off the edge. And I just remember when he ran off the edge, he realized it so microscopically close at the last minute that he tried to turn around, and he was facing me as he slipped off the edge. He literally slipped off facing me, and his last words were, Oh, fuck! And he just fell to his death, and it's really funny. I might put that link in the description of this video, just so you guys can watch it, see what I'm talking about. It's fucking hilarious. Where are you? Huh? Oh, that sounds like a crossbow to me. You're a confessor! And now you can't heal. Oh shit, I'm fast rolling. Don't even... There we go. Okay. R Relay? R Riley? Riley the Idol? So that was a confessor that uses Scarlet Rot weapons. That was pretty cool. And we got the Crepish Vile. Black Key Bolts. Hell yeah, we killed a fellow confessor. <laughs> Alright, let's see what that item is. I don't think I've ever got that before. The Crepish Vile? The hell is it? The hell is it? Is it a consumable? What is the Crepish Vile? Where is it? Is it a con is it an equipable? He gave us black key bolts. Oh, is it a talisman? I bet it's a talisman, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. That's cool, man. Small mysterious bottle with dark mist sealed within. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnished, who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Wow, so we got another cool piece of confessor gear. I'm about that. Okay, we saw an item. We saw an item from down there. Is it potentially up here, I think? Can we get up there? I I know you guys saw it too. You saw the shit that I'm talking about. Like, 
We gotta, we gotta find this damn thing. Where the hell is it? Is it up here? Is that even possible? I feel like I'm probably gonna kill Torrent and myself if I do this, but... I gotta try. Um... Whoa! So that was strange. <laughs> Dear FromSoft, my suggestion for your next patch. Ah, shit. All the way down here again. And I blew a rune arc. Good thing we picked one up. It's almost like the game knew. Bogus. Alright. Uh, I suppose we gotta go back and get our runes before we end this episode, huh? This one ran a little bit long, but having a lot of fun, man. Having a blast. Good way to start the weekend. Dying to a glitch. That's my definition of a good time. <laughs> what about you? Alright, I bet it's up on that. We should probably try to get up there. Alright, let's... Yes, of course, they're up in that spot, aren't they? Alright, thanks, FromSoft. Tell me I'm not supposed to get up there without telling me I'm not supposed to get up there. <laughs> ah! Damn it. I feel like that's enough to level up. Don't do me like this! Probably gonna have to go around again. I have to jump to this spot, and then we'll just... Oh, come on. I made it look so easy when I wasn't supposed to do it. <laughs> That's bogus. Alright. Come on. Give me my runes, damn it. Give me my runes! Give me my runes! Oh, boy. Gimme. Thank you. Alright, let's let's go back there, see if we can get to that spot that I'm eyeballing because it looks like we missed an item, and I want it, so by God we're gonna get it. Let's see if maybe I can get up there right here. No. I keep forgetting Torrent is more of a horse than a goat, but I always have the utmost faith. I feel like if there's if there's a way to surmount something, he'll find a way. He'll dig those hooves in, and uh, he'll do it. All right, so let's do it like this, shall we? So I feel like it's down here. Is it? I mean, I know we could see it from that bridge, so we should totally be able to see it from here. There it is. It's over there. Damn. All right. How do we get over there? That's the question. Shit, man. Is it going to make me, like... The hell's that? I... Oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow! <laughs> Here we go. Yeah! All right. All right. Shit. Vulgar Militia. What a surprise. Come here. Oh, thank you for the greaves. They came in handy for my fashion sense just a little bit ago. I think I see more of them over there. All right. Let's... Scout this entire side of the cliff first. What's that, an owl? Give me the eggs. Eggs, dear brother. Eggs! Of the slumbering variety. Sleep time arrows. Yes, please. Alright. Let's deal with these vulgar militiamen.
Where are you going, man? How did that work out for you? All right. There's no reason we shouldn't make this jump. There's no reason we should make this jump. All right. It's over here. Wow. See, look, there's always so many like little layers of this game, man. There's always so many little spots here and there. Shit. Bro, hit him. Now you pissed me off. Thanks for the gloves. I'm gonna fucking jerk off with them and put them back on your corpse. You're going to... You're going to lay in an eternal unrest with sticky hands and it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Oh my god, I did all that for a fucking butterfly. Alright. Well. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this one, folks. Uh... Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I know you guys probably stuck with me a little bit longer than you preferred in this one, but let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to the Volcano Manor. Guest Hall's not where we want to go. Um, regular Volcano Manor. Here we go. We'll leave off here. It'll be a nice place to pick up for the next episode. Kind of want to see what she has to say, now that I've murked another target. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Ooh, the serpent bone blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor. Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the tarnished with grace. But it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> It's funny you say that because I happen to know from a friend of a friend of a very close friend that's high up in the government that he eats them, so... Hey, he's back. Or did he ever leave? We're the tarnished. It is the okay, yeah, 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 I know. It's just uh, as my noble brother says. I'm a complete fool. I can't believe I thought I could become a champion. I wasn't listening. Do we have another target? Fuck yeah! Let's look at this thing. I'm enjoying this quest. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted. As the final request, the letter is a vivid red. Juno Haslow, Knight of Blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. Well, we're, we're a fucking ways away from that. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Man, everybody likes us now. I think we found our home. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you <laughs> accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. Let's fucking do it, man, up until I kick your ass up in Faramazula. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No. It's worse. What an easy mark. I'm... Perhaps I know. What an easy... Hmm. Listen, man, you can sit there and listen to my chemical romance and just, like, be in your feels all day. Me and Bernal, we're gonna go kill some people. Let's look at this thing before we end the episode. Okay, a written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Bernal. It's closing the names of two tarnished to be hunted. Vargram the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. Can't wait to hear that guy scream when he dies. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Both men can be found in the royal capital of Landell. Find the red mark in their map for the, for the exact location. That's going to be a lot of fun, but... That's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. This one went on for quite a while, but I was just having too much damn fun to stop. But things are starting to thicken. I think uh, when we get to the abductor vert, hey, that's where Don. Anyway, um, we're going to do the abductor versions in the next episode. We're going to do that dual abductor versions. It's kind of a pain in the ass boss, but I have a really easy way to deal with it. It's super fun. It's going to be short and quick, and it shouldn't be too much of a pain in the ass, but then we're going to deal with Rikert afterwards. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of the In-Depth Playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video.